Hey everybody, this is SW Chris. I'm from SW City and welcome to the Thursday evening vlog. I got a new haircut. Do you guys see that? It uh, it looks better with, um, I gotta stop for people in the crosswalk. Uh, it, it looks better when I don't have my glasses on, I think. Um, so uh, the only reason I'm not, I'm wearing glasses today is because I uh, am going out to see the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with a buddy of mine that I haven't seen in months. And so we're going to spend the evening and I just got new contact lenses um, we're trying some out and so far yesterday they started hurting after about six hours in uh, my eyeballs just had trouble focusing on them and it was the first day that I had them in uh, since my eye appointment and so it was just just trouble getting used to them so I'll put them in tonight uh, after work or maybe maybe during lunch because I'm doing this over lunch and uh, we'll see I, I wanted to talk to you guys about something but I'm a little distracted waiting for the traffic to clear <laughs> I, I wanted to talk about uh, I guess 9-11 and where I was um, on that day get it in vlog form and then we can move on uh, you know, this is, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people that tends to mourn, you know, the day uh, as if it were yesterday. I completely understand and can sympathize with the people who were impacted so closely by it. Uh, myself, I didn't know anybody personally at the time uh, it happened who, who was personally affected by it, but, you know, 2001 I'm in college and that kind of thing would rock your world you know and let's see if I can no I cannot block you guys I hope the glare is not too much the Sun is just right to the where it is uh, getting into the camera lens a bit so I hope that's okay anyway I was in college um, it was my freshman year and I had only been in college for a couple weeks and so uh, I was in my uh, dorm room sleeping basically and my roommate Kyle rushes in and he says hey did you guys did you see what's on TV and so I say no and he said the World Trade Center has been hit <laughs> instant instantly awake so I kind of roll off the bunk, land on my feet, Spider-Man style, and turn, walk, you know, walk the two feet, turn on the TV, and there it is. The second tower is on fire. It's uh, smoking. It looks like something out of a movie. You know, this was, um, I, I knew immediately that this was not um, just some accident. And, okay, what is this bus doing? Go away, bus. Okay. Anyway, uh, it was... I just basically stayed there until I had to go to Japanese class because I was taking Japanese. And because I was a dutiful student at the time, I didn't skip class. I should have. I, I wouldn't have missed anything because my mind was not on it. Um, and then as soon as my classes were over for the day, it was... Um, what day was it? Was it a Friday or a Thursday? I, I'm not sure, but I know that weekend um, I just went straight back home because that's what I needed. Uh, needed to uh, be among family, basically. Uh, I didn't have close relationships at college because it was a new college, new people. Didn't know them, so, you know, what do you do? <laughs> When, when you're traumatized like that, you go home. So that's what I did. And, uh, yeah, the, uh, that was basically the end of, um, a good, good period of time, a good 10, 12 years there where, um, there wasn't, you know, rancorous politics, there wasn't war, you know, the 90s, uh, it was growing up period. I had my own troubles, you know, in high school. 
but and they were fairly big for me for my world but you know when it comes to world shaping events and the country we lived in at the time it was fairly um, I have fairly fond memories of that time and kind of wish we could go back to it but change is change and there's nothing you can do to stop change you can only direct it <laughs> to some limited degree and so yeah it uh, it was a it was it was an interesting time I keep searching for profound words to say, but I don't think there's anything that I could say. So, you know, some of you guys may have been too young for it to be a real event for you, and I understand that. It probably is like, kind of like Pearl Harbor is to me, you know? It was a traumatic event for the country and for everybody in it, and everybody who witnessed Pearl Harbor who was alive when that happened every American remembers where they were when that happened just like they remember where they were with John F. Kennedy and now 9-11 and and you guys growing up you guys will probably have an event too where uh, it will be such a big deal that you will remember for the rest of your life where you were when uh, when that event happened so don't be surprised if it does happen um, sometime in your lifetime but consider yourself very blessed if it doesn't anyway it was 9-11 so I thought I'd make a vlog on 9-11 never forget but always keep your chin up anyway I do these vlogs to one up your own day life month or year whatever it happens to be if I've done that for you in some way leave a comment below and let me know why also, I'd be interested in hearing what uh, where you guys were on 9-11. Um, even if you can remember. Some of you guys may be too young for that. But, anyway, my name's has to be Chris. Auf Wiedersehen. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Bye-bye.